Hello guys, my name is Taja and welcome to my video. If you watched my last video where I made this friendship bracelet, which I made another one that says Barbie, but where I made this friendship bracelet, this one right here, and I'm going to do another one that teach y'all how to make this one down here. So, yeah, I'm going to teach y'all how to paint a calculator as I said I would in my last video, which was making this bracelet, this one. So, first thing you know, need is a calculator cover um, that obviously goes to your calculator. This is just a TI-93. And I got some glossy tape to put on the side. You can use matte tape if you want to, but I would not prefer it because I found that matte tape leaves more of a residue on the side than um, glossy tape. So, I would prefer glossy tape. And this one i already put it on the side and bordered it off so i can get straight into the video you need your paint your paint brushes your water um something to clean your paint brushes off on um and as i told you y'all in the other video you can have your clipboard with your um saran wrap on it but i ran out of saran wrap so i have a luna foil mine sorry if that hurt your eyes and like it works just the same it's just like i guess it'd be a little bit more expensive to use it i just use saran wrap was like plastically pa plasticky and cheap so yeah i'm gonna research ideas that i want to do for this first and i'm gonna come back to y'all and i'm gonna get the colors out that i want and put it on here so sorry if y'all are in a different position than y'all were before or the lighting is different i had some difficulties but we drew a stitch on there and i'm not doing a traditional color stitch i'm gonna do yellow red and orange stitch and yeah that's just how we're gonna do it and i drew stitch and i don't have an orange um what is it called paint but i'm about to go to walmart in a little bit so i may pick up one but um just because but right now i'm gonna make some there and i already got my tape on the side and I got my paints. I'm not doing traditional color stitch. I'm doing like red, yellow, and these two tones of orange that I mix red, yellow, and one with a little white to make. And yeah, all I'm going to do is start painting it. And I have these brushes from Walmart here. I'm going to show you. They're just, um, poop. They're basically this color. I'm going to show you exactly what they look like. Sorry, I had some difficulties. But, um, yeah, these brushes, they look like this. You can get them from Walmart. Honestly, like, the names and stuff are covered in paint. I have rubbed off on mine. But they are so good. And they, um, literally were, like, four or five bucks for a pack of ten. I don't even think it was five bucks. I think it was four bucks. But, yeah, um, they were that much for a pack of ten. They come with some very precise ones, some bigger ones and stuff. And they're really good for painting, especially like little detail stuff. And I really like them. And like, by bigger, I mean like this big. But, and they come with some flat ones, round ones, all different types. But yeah, I'm going to start painting. And then I'm a, I may let y'all come in a little bit and show y'all a little bit. And yeah. Okay. So, yeah, I forgot to y'all need a little bit white and a little bit black. I used the white and black to do the eyes. I used this color right here that I made to do the mouth and around the eyes. And look, I have that much red just to do a nose. Like, but, yeah, I did that. And I'm about to do the nose. Now, I should come back when I get done with the nose and show y'all. So, I painted the nose red. And I did a little black mark from the nose down. And I ended up doing my nose a little lower than I drew it because... I thought it looked a little better like that, so I did. And the next color I'm going to be using is this color, and that's going to be the color of the whole face. So, yeah. So, I painted the whole face, and it's really cute. And I got to paint the ears yellow. So, yeah, I'm going to do that, then come back and show y'all. So this is how it's looking right now. Pretty cute. And I'm going to just go over the ears one more time to make it more opaque, and then I'm going to be done. I painted the last layer of yellow I'm going to do and it's super cute so all i have to do is take my i'm gonna wait for while i wait for the dry i'm just gonna take my aluminum foil off pull it up 
and sew it away because it's easy cleanup and yeah i don't need it this is what it looks like um it's not all the way opaque all the way through but i'm okay with that look if you're not you could just go over with another layer but i am and if you want to like keep it on for a long long time you could put my podge on but i haven't put my podge on any of mine and um they haven't came off and i've had them for quite a good t amount of time like almost um five months with the paint on it so yeah <laughs> it's not necessary but if you want the like glossy finish look or whatever or you just want it to be like uniform you can do that but i like mine just like this so yeah thanks for watching my video go ahead and like comment and subscribe and i'll see you guys in my next video bye